Welcome to Autism Family Fellowship, and today we're playing outside this beautiful weather, and I want to take this opportunity to show you some sensory play that we're doing out in the backyard. This is my garden that I have, and we have a swing here, we have chalk, and of course water, and my daughter is the one that has autism, and my son is neurotypical and we have this nice closed in patio here so that she can't run away so they're both relatively safe back here and playing in the water sensory play is really important for getting regulated and feeling calm inside so she's able to self-regulate here by playing in the water and they found something that they can play together, which is really nice. Sometimes they have trouble fighting over toys and getting each other's space in the house. But out here, playing in the water, they can play together. And I, <laughs> I am able to sit down and watch them, so that's nice too. The only thing, of course, is it uses a lot of water. It's a little slippery, so I have to watch them. And it gets the house really wet, so we can't do this every day, but sometimes it's okay. So it took a lot of years to figure out this setup. Back here, I have my painting here because I need sensory regulation as well. So I got this old table, and sometimes I paint out here garden because we <laughs> we grown-ups need sensory regulation too so if you have a small space you might be able to use it <laughs> for your family to get sensory fun and sensory regulation so I just thought I'd like to share this with you See if it gives you some ideas for your own outdoor space now that it's getting warmer. So you can watch them play a little bit. But that's what I wanted to show you today. <laughs> she has her shapes inside there. We're studying shapes. for watching and joining us today. Bye-bye. God bless you.